Hey guys, we are solving two step equations this time. So last video we solved one step equations, which literally meant there was only one step to solve the equation. But now we have two steps. And so I'm gonna guide us through a series of questions, just like I was asking in the previous video about one step equations. And that's gonna help us every step of the way solve these two step equations. Are you ready? Okay, so first three, let's take a look. So first one says two X plus seven equals nine. What I would ask you is what do you have on both sides of your equation? Do you have variables on both sides or do you have numbers on both sides? I only see an X on the left side of the equation. I don't have X's on both sides, but I do have numbers on both sides. I have a seven and a nine. I would then ask you which one of those numbers, seven or nine, is on the same side of the equation as my variable that I want to isolate, that I want to get by itself. The answer would be seven. It's a positive seven. How do we undo or get rid of a positive seven? We subtract seven. And what we talked about in the last lesson, whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other side. Okay, so then after I subtract seven on both sides, I'm now left with two X equals two. We know two X equals two, two and X are side by side. Side by side means multiply. And to undo that two that's next to our X, we have to divide by two. So we go ahead, we divide both sides by two. And when I simplify that out, I end up getting X equals one. Now, I didn't do any simplifying out with crossing out here, but I just want to help you remember that the sevens would simplify out to zero. Two divided by two is just one, which is why it simplifies out there, and I'm just left with x. For the next one, five plus four x equals negative three. Do I have variables on both sides? No. Do I have numbers? Yes, the numbers are five and negative three. Which number is on the same side of the equation as my variable x? It's the five. What kind of five is it? Positive or negative? positive. How do we get rid of a positive 5? We subtract 5. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other side of the equation. When I do this, my 5s will simplify out. I'm then left with 4x equals negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. We have 4 and x. They're side by side. We know side by side means multiply. The way we undo the multiplication is by division. So we divide both sides by the 4 because that's going to let our 4s simplify out. And then my final answer is just simply x equals negative 2. Next one, 6 equals 2x plus 8. Do I have numbers on both sides? Yes, I have a 6 and an 8. Which one of those numbers is on the same side as my variable? It's the 8. What kind of 8 is it? Positive or negative? It's positive. The way we get rid of a positive number is to subtract. So we subtract 8 on both sides of our equation. 6 minus 8 is negative 2. So now I'm left with negative two equals two X. We want to get X by itself. Two and X are side by side. Side by side means multiply. And so we would know then that we need to divide both sides by two. And we end up getting negative one equals X. Awesome. Okay, next two. Four X minus nine equals one. We have numbers on both sides. We have a negative nine and a positive one. Which one is on the same side of the equation as the variable? A negative nine. How do you undo a negative nine or subtracting nine? You would add nine. So I'm gonna, if I add nine on the left-hand side, I'm gonna add nine on the right-hand side so that my nines will simplify out completely. I am then left with four X equals 10. Four and X are side by side. Side by side means multiply. I divide both sides by four. And you can leave your answer in fraction form or in decimal form. 10 does not divide by four nicely. So I can call this a uh, five over two. I can call it 2.5, they mean the same thing. Next one, I notice again, I have numbers on both sides. Which number would you get rid of here because it's on the same side of the equation as the variable? If you said negative five, you're correct. The negative five is on the same side of the equation as my three X. The way we undo and get rid of a negative five is we would add five on both sides. I'm then left with three X equals three. Side by side means multiply. So we divide both sides by three and we end up getting X equals one. Awesome, we are doing a great job here. Next one, four equals negative X minus seven. Do I have numbers on both sides? Yes, which number are you gonna get rid of here? Hopefully you said negative seven because negative seven is on the same side as my variable. So the way we get rid of a negative seven is we add seven. It's so repetitive, it really is. But now I want you to look carefully in this one. What we're actually left with is 11 equals negative X. Don't forget about that negative. What number 
is technically in front of that X right now. If you said negative one, you are correct. We don't want negative X, we want positive X. So what we do is we either multiply or divide both sides by a negative one. What will happen there is that a negative divided by a negative leaves me with a nice positive. And then over here on the left, 11 divided by negative one gives me negative 11. Okay, next set. Do I have numbers on both sides? Yes, we see that it's happening in every problem. It's not a coincidence. Um, 5x plus 10 equals 75. I want to get rid of the number that's on the same side of my equation as my variable. So I want to get rid of 10 by subtracting 10 on both sides. I'm then left with 5x equals 65. You know, 5 and x are side by side, which means multiply. So we're going to go ahead and divide both sides by 5. That way my x is by itself. 65 divided by 5, 13. Next one. Negative 2x plus 8 equals negative 64. Do I have numbers on both sides? Yes. I have an 8 and a negative 64. Which one would you get rid of to get the x by itself? Hopefully you said the positive 8. How do you get rid of a positive 8? You subtract 8. And so if I subtract 8 on both sides, I'm left with negative 2x equals negative 64 minus 8 is negative 72. The negative 2 and the x are side by side. They're multiplying. So I go ahead and I divide both sides by negative 2. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, and I'm left with x equals 36. Okay, and the next one, 7 point, negative 7.5 equals 1.25x plus 2.5. Do not get scared of decimals. They are the same as any other number. Do not ever worry about that. And if you're allowed to use a calculator for any of these, then obviously the calculator is going to help you, help you with that. But don't think that it's ever any different. Do I have numbers on both sides of the, this equation? Absolutely. I have a negative 7.5 and a 2.5. Which one of those is on the same side as my variable? The 2.5. How do you get rid of a positive 2.5? You subtract 2.5. Hopefully you're talking along with me. That way my 2.5s are gone. Negative 7.5 minus 2.5 would give me negative 10 equals 1.25x. They're side by side, which means multiply. I go ahead, divide both sides by 1.25, and I end up with negative 8. Awesome, guys. All right, next set. Fractions. Again, do not get scared by fractions. We had fractions in the one-step equations, and they were easy. This is the same idea. Do I have numbers on both sides? Yes, I do, every single time here. Uh, which number do I want to remove, the negative 6 or the 7? Which one's on the same side of the equation as my variable? It's the negative 6. How do you get rid of a negative 6? You add 6. So plus 6 plus 6. I then end up with x divided by 4, remember fraction means division, equals 13. If x is being divided by 4, what did we say in last lesson is the opposite of dividing? The opposite of dividing is multiplying. So in order to undo x being divided by 4, we want to multiply both sides by 4. That way, these 4s will simplify out. We talked about y in a previous lesson. And then I'm done. x equals 13 times 4. There's 13 cards in each suit. There's four suits in a deck of cards. 13 times 4, there's 52 cards in a deck. Okay, negative x uh, divided by 2 plus 3 equals 8. Do I have numbers on both sides? Yes. Which one do I get rid of, the 3 or the 8? Good, hopefully you said 3. So I'm going to subtract 3 on both sides. I am then left with negative x divided by 2 equals 5. Remember we talked about this. So I want to undo the division, but the fraction is also negative. If I multiply both sides by 2, I will get rid of the 2 in the denominator. However, I'll still be left with negative x. So instead of multiplying both sides by 2 when the fraction is negative, make sure you multiply both sides by a negative 2. And again, the reason is the 2s will simplify out beautifully. A negative times a negative is a positive. And so that's how I'm left with a nice positive x. And then 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Next one, do I have numbers on both sides? Absolutely. Do I get rid of the negative 3 or the 8? Hopefully you said 8. The way we get rid of an 8 is we subtract 8 on both sides. So now negative 3 minus 8 is negative 11. So I have negative 11 equals negative x divided by 9. 
Just like in the previous problem, we don't want to multiply both sides by 9. Because the fraction is negative, we want to multiply both sides by a negative 9. And again, this is the reason why. It's because the 9s will simplify out, and then a negative times a negative is a positive, and that's how you're left with a nice positive x on the right-hand side. Negative 9 times negative 11, again, a negative times a negative is a positive, and I get positive 99. Awesome, last three problems here. Do I have numbers on both sides? Yes. Which number do I get rid of, the 5 or the 7? The 5, good, because the 5 is on the same side of my equation as my variable. So I'm going to subtract 5 on both sides. I am then left with 3 fourths x equals 2. Talked about this in the one step equations video. To undo 3 fourths in just one step, we multiply by the multiplicative inverse, which is just the reciprocal. So all I do is I multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 3 fourths. The reciprocal of 3 fourths would be 4 thirds. And so if I multiply the left-hand side of the equation by 4 thirds and the right-hand side of my equation, the simplifying here is awesome. These 4s will simplify out beautifully and the 3s will cross-simplify out beautifully. And so I'm just left with x equals, remember you take your number 2, you multiply it by the numerator, 2 times 4 is 8, and I end up with 8 thirds as my answer. Next one, what number here would I get rid of on both sides because it's on the same side as my variable? Hopefully you saw that we want to get rid of this negative 4 or minus 4. So we're going to go ahead and add 4 on both sides. We are then left with negative 1 half x equals 12. We want to do the multiplicative inverse. So we want to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of negative 1 half. Make sure you keep the negative with your reciprocal. The reciprocal would be negative 2 over 1. So I want to multiply both sides of the equation by negative 2 over 1. My 2s simplify out, the 1s simplify out, a negative times a negative is a positive, just like always, and 12 times negative 2 is negative 24. Last one. We're almost done. We're basically done. What number are you going to get rid of on both sides in this last equation? What number is on the same side of the equation as my variable? Hopefully you said 2, so let's go ahead and subtract 2 on both sides. Minus 2, minus 2. I am now left with negative 7 equals negative 2 ninths x. We want to use the multiplicative inverse to undo the negative 2 ninths. So the reciprocal would be negative 9 over 2. That's what I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by. Again, the reason is the 2s will cross simplify, the 9s will cross simplify, and negative times a negative is a nice positive. And then over on the left, first of all, a negative times a negative is a positive. And then I do 7 times 9. 7 times 9 is 63. And 63 divided by 2 is 31.5. Or I could have just simply left it as 63 over 2. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.